set then at the start of the race. The five red lights are coming on then and we are getting ready to go racing at Suzuka. Round 17, lights out and away we go and Jamie gets away well from Paul. Will he hold the lead down towards the first corner? Jess trying to hold station in second but she can't. Through goes the vital move of, is that, yep there is Jack going up into second place and through he goes. Jessica is third, side by side the two Ferraris, I'm going to get right out of the way of that dog snap, as Kip Johnson moves up the fourth, he backs out so much oh, that Tom goes through, Tom takes a piece of action, runs into the gravel, and he's lost even more positions on the opening lap there, 59 down, one of the Hassies making mistakes as well, oh, and the one, is that one of the servers, is it Jess? No. Jess is off for a spin, oh. and it's all oh. kicking off. And immediately, Jess, who was the third in the side to the championship rivals, what? and she's now totally out of the tussle at the front. She is way what down back. Mr. John's gone for a spin as well. But Jamie is launching away at the start of this race. He's got Fuck some gap day. as well. Jack is 1.5 seconds behind in second already. And Chris Johnson is third and fourth is Ah, you can be joined, you can be joined. Oh, wow. very, very wide, but Manchon takes the place and moves up to fifth. It's now uh, Manor in fourth oh, and fifth. On the Michael is track. sick. And Crumpet is about to steal the place from Michael. Oh, he does go up into sick. Cleanly, believe it or not, Mr. Crumpet making a clean move. You've got to be kidding me on. But he goes through, oh. up into sick. Seven to Michael <laughs> Kenny, and there's a lot of lag for Michael Kenny. And Dom Smith now takes that seventh place from Michael Kenny. He drops to eighth now. Three, car three places and three corners lost for Michael Kenny as Kenny and JJ makes an early statement in the fastest lap of the race. James just missing the pit wall. Jesus Christ, that was very close. And here comes Joe. He's right in the toe, in behind James. Can he find a way through into the first corner? It doesn't look like it. He will have to settle in and remain in 10th place. The reigning TGP2 champion of more than 500 days, and he's now through, I believe. Classic and making up the numbers as Jack makes a mistake and clips it back to Jamie. Oh, that was close. He knocked the back of Jamie going into the final chicane. And he thankfully has not damaged the front line, but he is coming into the pits anyway. Nonetheless, he is still going to make a stop. Into the box comes Jack and he fits the hard tyre. Almost held up by the Ferrari of Dom. That would have been a great help to his, uh, his teammate Chris Johnson because it was actually really close between those two there. But unfortunately, it never quite worked out. Oh, there's no hold through. up from the Ferrari. And it's a drive through. Oh, wait, is that? Speeding the pit lane. Speeding the pit lane, Dom Smith. Drive through. Well, after the in. Dom really held up Jack, I was expecting things to be compounded, but both manners made a complete arse of it. And Crump is rejoined behind Jack, so therefore, try, Chris. Jack is only going to lose out to Chris Johnson after all this. So it's uh, not worked out too bad, but Joe out front is going to try and hold up King and JJ. He's going to do a petrol head and stay out for the fucking banter. And here we go then. Joe Sea leading the way. And of course he's on the hard tyre. It would make total sense anyway to go over this long. It's not like he's doing it for the sake of it. He's doing it because uh, he has to do it. Otherwise his socks won't make the end. So Joe Sea staying out then. Jamie trying to close in, Chris Johnson unable to catch Jamie, the gap is staying the same. Three leaders are all together, there's no doubt about it now, this is a three car fight. Obviously we wait for Joe to pit, but Chris Johnson has, is going to have the chance to take this away from Jamie. He is definitely in with a shout of winning this race. And it's not down to Joe holding Jamie up by any means. Please get safety car. As Joe continues to lead then, King and JJ, and Chris Johnson is right there! He's right on the tail, he's got a slipstream on King and JJ! I don't believe it! Round the outside at 1.30 up! Surely not! No, he can't quite manage that! He never actually had to speak to it. Jamie, almost learning his lesson from uh, Peace of Nations like Spa, where he had no straight line speed. He appeared to have played you there, but he's made a huge mistake on the exit of the chicane! And here comes Chris Johnson, side by side, for the net lead of the Grand Prix! Can he make it stick? This is crucial for the championship! Round the outside into turn one! No, he can't do it! Jimmy shuts him off! And Chris Johnson is stuck behind him still! But that was great action between the two title rivals. Josea has arrived in the pit box, and this is now outright for the lead of the Grand Prix. Absolutely brilliant, this. We could be in for a 
final a flourish, a real bit of drama in the closing lap to this race. Round 17 out of 22. Three cars fighting out for the championship. They are the top three places in this race. And if Chris Johnson can get ahead of Cheney, it will be third in the championship winning from second in the championship. With first in the championship third. Think how close those standings would be. It's 11 points at the moment. They'll be even closer if it finishes like this. Or if, certainly if Chris can get ahead of Cheney. His penultimate opportunity into the chicane. And he's gaining rapidly this time. He's definitely turned the engine up. And this is his moment. It's just Chris Johnson's chance. He goes right on the outside of Jamie. On the brakes. And he throws it off. Oh, that is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Chris Johnson takes the lead. Away from Jamie. Side by that side. All the way. The final weapon of the 2016 Japanese Grand Prix. Chris Johnson looks like he leads. Going into turn one. Absolutely brilliant, Chris on, Johnson man. with that momentous charge onto the back of Jamie. Jamie didn't track under the pressure, he fought for it, but it appears Chris Johnson has won the war here. He takes the lead, but Jamie is not getting it up. He's tucked up right behind him as he goes through Dunlop, and he might, he might just have one final chance, but I have to give it to Chris Johnson. Brilliant pressure and brilliant fuel management to just wait for a moment to turn the engine up, get the exit absolutely spot on and nail Jamie round the outside into the chicane. Absolutely brilliant. He leads for Ferrari. The flags are flying at the moment and it looks to me like he's on course to win here in Japan. The fans are waiting in the grandstand. They wave, they salute, they cheer. The brilliant drive of Chris Johnson who comes round the final corner and wins the Japanese yes. Grand Prix. A fantastic drive. Steady. What a drive. Yes. What a read. And what a move it was as well to win it. Jackie <laughs> saw Jim, Jimmy Savages them in second. A thrilling race between the two title rivals. Slogging it out. Absolutely brilliant. Trumpet is fourth. And Joel, who was closing in at the end, comes home third. That was magnificent. Okay, well there you go. The Japanese Grand Prix is finished. Chris Johnson is the winner. The man in third in the championship going into it wins it. The man in second in the championship is second. And the man who led the championship is third. It's a dream scenario for us all. Okay, we're all set on the ground. Here we go. Ready to go racing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna again. Come on, come on, get out of the way! And he's, where's Andy gone? On your left, on your left, Michael, what's out? On your left! What are you doing? I can't, I can't, you turned in, I can't disappear. You're free, so what? You on your own, then? Oh, my left, Michael. When did this mic unplug? How long ago? You haven't spoken since the start. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jamie is up to second, by the way, in case you weren't aware. Jamie is up to second, and he's now going for the lead up the inside of Sean. Vital for the championship, and he makes it stick. Side by side then, boss by Sean, Jack's in the middle of it as well, oh, oh, Jack, go. what has happened? And Jack is in there, well I'm to Jess, I've got no idea if boss man Sean continues to hold the lead. How did Jack oh, up my to God. so quickly? Go. 
Jess has lost time. I don't know how. Shut up. But Jack is up into third now, and Chris Johnson needs to get in amongst it. He's already dispatched Corey, and he's moving up with them. They're all going together, the three title rivals. Second, third, and fourth now. And Jack on the inside of Jamie. At the hair turn, and he's the daily. And now the three the title rivals so in the line. Second, third, and fourth. And Jack is wasting no time attacking Jamie. Bossman John leading all Bastard. three of them down the street. <laughs> and Jack <laughs> up the inside. Sorry, Jamie up the inside of Jack. They bang wheels. And Jack is up into second place. Fuck you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bossman John still leads. Jack now second. Jamie Don't you start neither. And Chris Johnson is fourth. Corey is fifth. Oh, sorry. Is now stopped with a score <laughs> sixth. Behind that, Don Smith dueling with Joe and Michael Kenny, and then in ninth, in t sorry, tenth is Mr. John battling his teammate Pedro in eleventh. Trump at twelve, and my car is last. Trump taking the thing route. Boss Van Sean continues to lead, but Jack looks to be the man with the pace at the moment. He's just set a brand new fastest lap of the race. And will he make the move on Boss Van Sean up into turn one? This could be vital for the championship. Making the move now is Jack. He's through. Up into the lead on Boss Van Sean, who tries to come back on the outside, going into the S's, but he cannot do it. And it's a decisive move in this race. Well before the DRS zone, well before any more overtaking opportunities. And Jack takes the lead of the race from Boss Van Sean. Could be vital. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Jack now leads from Bosman Sean, who is not is sticking with them. Look at that. He may be having a look into the hairpin here. Oh, he's lost it. Bosman Sean. Is this the start of his retirement? Oh, Probably. He off the track he goes. Drops to fourth, drops to fifth. And uh, Corsa's now in front of him, his teammate. And now, as usual, the three championship protagonists. One, <laughs> two, and three. Jack leading the way at the moment from Jamie in second and Chris Johnson in third. Uh, how soon will we see these drivers into the pits? We'll have to wait and see. As they all flash through the shot. But still no sign of a pit stop from the front three uh. protagonists. They're on on oh. Look at that, that's how evenly matched they are. Look at those fastest laps flashing up. Jack from Jamie, from Chris Johns in the top three, covered by 1.6 seconds. This is a title race that's going to go to the wire, folks. Stay tuned throughout the, the rest of this season. This is going to be magnificent. If there's any virtual safety car, Jack will win. Yes! Jack has got this in the bag now. Jack has got this in the bag now. Any virtual safety car. And it's in the bag. And there you go. Wow. That's just getting That is getting Jack getting the victory. To be honest, I think he was quick enough anyway. He stays out! He stays out! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you fucking idiot? <laughs> that is absolute lunacy from Jack Gooding. And we get going again. And the hook. Well, they've been well and truly well through. Chris Johnson on Jessica. Oh, wow, what a move. Very, very late. Jess might come back though. Yeah, she does. I was expecting that. Chris Johnson keeps flying up the inside like a uh, North Korean missile. and. Very nearly wiped out Jamie in the process, <laughs> but remarkably, uh, uh, all worked out yeah, okay, and King Jong Un is satisfied. But um, <laughs> Jess holds on to third <laughs> in the most remarkable circumstances. There, <laughs> Jack still leads from Jamie. Jack is on his way out of the pit lane. Jamie is only just crossing the line, oh, and Jack off. Gooding rejoins in the lead. Five laps from the end and looks to be on course to win this quite comfortably. Six tenths between them and Joe's just sitting there waiting for the current. We've got two laps to do it. So I don't think there's going to be any real rush because I think Paws are really a struggle. Particularly in this final sector where Joe just seems to be all over him. Final turn, Paws has gone deep, this is a chance. And Joe keeps it on the road, no he doesn't. He makes an arse of it again. And not as big an arse of it as last time. It just works. At is it worth the missile? No, it's not. He's way too far back. And he calls it, bends him off as he begins the penultimate lap. Back to the lead. Jack Goody, the Scotsman, leads by nine and a half seconds. I have to say, he has thrashed his title rivals today. Thrashed him. King and JJ just cannot get near him. Chris Johnson cannot match him either. Ten seconds these guys are laughing behind. Lagging by ten seconds. 
and Joe is right behind Corner now. As you can have a look into the hairpin. Is Joe Sayer going to move up into fourth place? The reigning TGB2 champion. No. Again, plays it conservative and waits for his chance. Down the back straight then. Corey goes defensive immediately. He can sense it. He knows what's coming. And it's a harsh car powering through. The United States flags rising up. The fans of the grandstand on the brakes down here rising up for the harsh car. Can he go down the outside? No, he can't. Has he got room to go on the inside now? Does he go into the tight twisty section? No, there, there is not. And look at all these fans in the grandstand rising to applaud Joe Sayer and half F1 as he tries to find a way through and seal a solid fourth place result on home soil for the team. He's tucked up behind Corey. The fans egging him on as they go into the final corner on the penultimate lap. The next time will be the final time through here. Joe Sayer, final turn. Can he get it right this time? He can! And this is his chance now. DRS open as he goes down the main street. And looking on the pit wall, Gunter Steiner is waving him on, he's egging him on. Joe Sayer, round the outside into turn one. Can't do that. What about the switchback on the run down the hill? Yes, he can. He's been given the inside line. It's a gift up the inside. Poor car positioning, side by side now. Oh my goodness. Oh, you had to back the hell out of that one, otherwise there would have been a mon monumental shot, it would have been humongous. Forget an North Korean missile, that one there would have ended the world. That explosion from the shunt. And Corey still fends off Joe as they approach the brakes again. All the fans in the grandstands again, out in force with their American flags cheering on Joe Sayer. They're praying praying and hoping he can get one last cheer in the final lap of this Grand Prix. Can Joe Sayer deliver it? He's going to go to the outside. Can he do it? He's not going to try the unorthodox Mike Noon move, that's for sure. And now we have the inside. He will have the inside. Will he try this time? Cody goes flying into the corner and defends well. And Jack has won the race. He's that far up the road. I was actually going to try and go and go to the leader of the captain camera of the leader. But Cody makes a mistake. And this is it now. Joe Sayer around the outside through the long turn, can he do it? He can! Beautiful move, America rises to apply. Donald Trump, who as we've seen Vladimir Putin before at previous races with Bernie Eccleston, Donald Trump here at the US Grand Prix applauds that one with Bernie Eccleston in the paddock. Joe Sayer is for, but it's Jack who wins, he destroys it. Oh, oh Chris Johnson ahead of Jamie! Jamie! got a penalty and I think Chris actually took him even before that which we didn't actually see on the camera.